is trying to tackle uh, two of the most uh, crucial problems that the medicine of today is struggling to find solution or proper solution for them. The first one is a shortage of uh, organs for transplantation. There are literally 100,000 people only in the US that are waiting for life-saving organ transplantation and every day 21 people die while waiting for organ transplantation. This is one major problem. The second uh, problem that we are trying to tackle is that our society is becoming older and older and this is accompanied by aging-related uh, diseases such as cancer, neurodegenerative disease like Parkinson, Alzheimer. So my lab is focused on forcing cells to become different cells. For example, we can take uh, skin cells and convert them into neurons, into cardiac cells, into liver cells, and this can give us an unlimited source of cells for transplantation. In this aspect, we are trying to, to solve the problem of shortage for transplantation. And while we are searching a way to transform a cell, we identify or develop a, a new technique that allows us to rejuvenate cells. So we can take a cell from a 90 years old person and we can rejuvenate the cells and we could get 50% reduction in age which means that if you are 70 years old, now after our modification, the cells will be like 35 years old. And this is really important for many diseases like AMD, which is regeneration of cells in the eyes due to aging and people that become blind because of this disease, we can restore the vision for these people. So we have two main aims in our lab is one to generate cells in the dish for organ transplantation. We develop paradigm that allow us to convert mainly skin cell into different cell type of the human body. And on the same time, we are using our knowledge to do this process, but to take a different aspect of it, which is rejuvenation. So in this regard, we mainly now trying to get a, a high quality of cells. So first of all, we are working on quality control. We know how to generate various cell types, but we want to be sure that these cells are safe. They uh, provide all the function of the cells and we are trying to characterize ourselves before we will go to the next step, which is the three-dimensional structure. This is the future of medicine.